Hi, this is D.I. Von Briesen of Tropical Teachers, and in case you can't tell from my attire, it's not really tropical. I'm recording this in early January of 2011. Classes start tomorrow, and looks like we may have a cancellation because of snow. Anyway, the intent of this video is to explain a little bit about how to create a Moodle course from scratch when you just got the book and the class assignment last week, and you really haven't sat down and worked on it until the night before class. This could actually work half an hour before the class. So in a series of short, sort of five-minute videos, I'm going to cover the basics of what you need to get going. Uh, this is based on kind of a standard textbook, which has online resources and that sort of thing. And I'll show you the book. The book isn't probably as relevant um, to you, but in this case, it's this monster thing from Pearson. Just to give you an idea of how thick it is. Um, I'm not actually a huge book fan, but this is what they're using, so I got to use it. So we're going to cover just how to put this into Moodle, and in doing so, um, show you how things are pretty easy to do. And I may just start from scratch and then tweak it as I go. There are certain things I always do in my Moodle courses, uh, but maybe I'll just walk you through that so you can get an idea of, of getting started. This could be history, psychology. It's a little harder if you're not using a textbook at all because then you can't use that book as a crutch. Um, also, as with most publisher books, this comes with the uh, CD in the back, which I've yet to open. This is the instructor CD, and the students get a CD with their book. So if you're really feeling like a slacker, you could actually just say, hey, look on chapter whatever of your CD, and so on. Um, there's also things that one wants to get familiar with, like you know what's in the book and different resources. And in particular, in this one, um, Here's a list of a lot of resources available, are available, and on almost all of them, I don't expect you to be able to read this, but on all of, almost all of them, they say instructor CD. So you can get everything except um, the online study guide and the crosswords and the answers for the form of a question game, which I guess is Jeopardy. You can get all that on the CD, and those two of those three you can get from the companion website. I haven't done any of that. I haven't set it up. I haven't got my password or any of that. But um, ultimately, that's pretty easy to do. We may have to make some last-minute phone calls tomorrow if we don't get canceled. And um, so we're assuming that when you're starting a course, you have a bunch of stuff. And that stuff is digital media. Um, in this particular case, I'm going to pull out the CD and see what's on that. I'm not even worried about going to the website because I don't have a login for the instructor stuff. There's also a Blackboard cartridge for this, which is not installed on our Blackboard server. So an obvious question would be, is it worth installing the cartridge and then porting that stuff over to Moodle? And my experience has been nowadays, they give you a bunch of PowerPoints, they give you a bunch of test banks. And depending on the format, um, it may just be easier to go right from that to Moodle rather than going from Blackboard to Moodle. In other words, put in the CD, see what you can find. Hopefully my instructor CD here comes with test banks, and then I can go through the normal conversion process. So I'm not sure that this will all get done now, but um, hopefully by the time this sort of quick study is done, you'll have a guide to putting your stuff into Moodle, including some of the things that I do to set a Moodle course up. So having said that, I uh, hope you can stick through with this. Uh, always open to suggestions. Uh, send me a note, di at netit.com. That's di at k-n-e-d-i-t dot com. Netit as in knowledge, education, IT. Look forward to uh, having you watch.